So now let's see how we can work around with shadow opacity and diffusion inside of the composition shot of hit film. So over here you can see that I already have a light right here and then I have these objects right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around over here onto materials right here and let me just go around and cast out the shadows over here just like this. And over here I'm going to go around over here onto the light as well and then cast out the shadows from the light. So you can see the shadow over here just like this. So this is what you have. So now you can see that the shadow has a certain level of opacity right here and diffusion. So right now it's 50% as you can see. But if I were to go around and change this out, you can see that I can totally make it much more darker as well, just like this. And I can also go around and diffuse out the shadow right here according to how I want right here. So you can see that it is much more darker. So depending on whether you see the shadow or not, you can go around and control that out as you can see. Similarly, if you have two lights right here just like this, then you can see it make the shadow much more distinct like that as well. So as I were to go around and move this right here, you can see two shadow effect right here. So let me just go around onto light right here and then decrease out, let's say for example, um, uh, the intensity of the light right here just like this and that is what you have and let me just go around over here and decrease out the intensity over here of the light over here just like this as well so this is what you have right here so you can see the shadow right here just like that you can see that it is much more darker just like that so that is how you can work around with shadow opacity and diffusion inside of hit film so I hope you guys learn something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.